In this lesson, we're going to take a look at using the freeform and subselection tools to distort our shapes. So let's open up in our Chapter 2 folder. So File and Open. And there is a file called Working with Shapes. So let's open that up. Now at the bottom of that particular document, I have this just very odd shape. Now all I did to create that was just grab my pen tool and I just made some just straight edges. I could add a curve if I wanted and finish off that shape. We'll talk about the pen tool later. But some of the other tools may seem just a bit odd. So for instance, we have freeform tool, a reshape tool, a path scrubber, and a path scrubber tool subtractive. But let's take a look at the moment at our freeform and reshape tool. So with our reshape tool, I need something selected. And you'll notice that when my cursor is next to my path there, it sees that it is indeed a path. And if I click and pull, then I am reshaping that particular bit of graphic. Now, if you take a look at your property inspector when you're using this tool, you see that you've got a size and whether I want a pressure sensitive tablet or not. And if I don't have one, I don't really need that to be in there. But I would indeed like to see a preview while I am dragging. So there we go. And if I click and hold, you'll see the actual shape of the object. Or I can just pull what existing paths are there. Now, my other tool underneath it is my reshape tool. And I have a size plus a strength in this one. So let me pull this down a little bit more. We'll leave the strength alone. Now this one feels somewhat more organic in nature. And as you can tell, before long, you've got a whole new shape. So if I am working with an organic shape and I need to just move a shape around a little bit, using those freeform tools can create quite an interesting shape. Now I also have, let me just get rid of that, underneath my vector pen tool, I have a vector path tool and a redraw path tool. And this is also very interesting. So I've got precision, I have options for my stroke. And if I just draw a free form shape here, and now I want to change that, So I've got my redraw, and I can kind of see where it was at before. As long as I pass by my line, I've got this little red line on the inside, basically meaning that I'm getting rid of that part of that original shape. And now when I let go, I have redrawn that. So that's an example of how we can work with organic vector shapes inside of Fireworks.